Okay, folks, uh, back for a uh, LightWave 10 tutorial here. Uh, someone uh, sent me an email asking about uh, Motion Mixer. Like, how could you uh, get a character to basically... Well, let me just walk you through this. So here's here's a Motion Mixer. Oops, let's go through this. Okay, here is, is an animation I did a long time ago of uh, a dragon walking and then spitting fire. And so if we bring up the Motion Mixer window you will see that, in fact, uh, the entire animation is controlled uh, with the motion mixer with these two clips, uh, which is a walk clip and then a fire blast clip. So I have the walk uh, clip, uh, animation clip set to repeat uh, as the pre-behavior. And then, you know, as you see, as we scroll through here, he just kind of does that that uh, animation. So I think with the, the person on uh, the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, what the person was uh, asking was, how would I, uh, if you've, let's say you've created a, a walk cycle like this that takes place, you know, just in one place, he's not moving forward, how would you, in fact, get this character uh, to move forward as well as do, a, you know, a cycling animation like this? So uh, it's, it's pretty easy, actually, but I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do it just to illustrate some points. Uh, <clears throat> one thing you could do is, let's go ahead and create a null object. I'll expand this, and I will uh, give it a different shape here so we can see it. We'll make it a diamond. Filled. Okay. So now we can easily see this thing. Oops. I'm on frame 45. I should... Okay. Let me just uh, expand this and right-click on that, and I'm going to delete that key. I'll move back to the beginning here. Okay. So I'm going to parent the uh, dragon object to this null object just so we can have something to, to move it around. So I'm going to go into my scene editor and I'm just going to drag this guy into the null object. So now he's parented to it. <clears throat> so the easiest way would be to just, for example, if, if everything in, in this uh, creature here has already been um, controlled by Motion Mixer, as you know from my previous tutorials, once you control something with Motion Mixer, its animation is completely controlled by that, and you can't really do anything else with it except for what's in that motion mixer timeline. So if you want, for example, to move this guy forward, you're going to have to parent him to something else and, you know, uh, move the parent object forward. So now we just parent the guy to that, and now we move that thing forward, and now we can just move him forward and have it walk at the same time. So uh, that's one thing you can do. Uh, another thing you can do is... Go into Motion Mixer, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, we have this object here, the null object that's controlling this guy here. I'm going to actually make a uh, animation clip out of that and control that with Motion Mixer because I can show you some little tricks that we can do with that. So let's go ahead and with with just that null object, uh, select. I'm going to say Create Actor. I'm going to call this uh, Main Mover. Okay, and then you can see that the, the timeline for Motion Mixer goes dark because there's no clips in there. So then I'm going to take the uh, animation that we just did of it moving forward for 30 frames. I'm just going to create a motion out of that. We just create motion. Okay, I'll just call this move forward. And I'll go from start frame to end frame 30. And clear channels to take the animation off of the timeline when we're uh, creating this. And say okay. Okay, so now when we scroll through, scroll through our animation, let me uh, move this up here so we can see all these windows at one time. Okay, you can see that the uh, null object is no longer moving forward because we took the animation out of there. So I'm going to say uh, move forward, I'm going to say add motion, because I have that motion clip selected here in the motion list. I'll just click, say add motion, and click here in the timeline, and then we have our move forward clip. So now when we scrub through our timeline, you'll see that we move forward, okay? Now you'll see at the end, he kind of snaps back because we have to define a what they call a post behavior for this. So we'll select this clip, right click on it, and say add a post behavior. So if we just select the default of constant, that means he'll move forward and then he'll just stay there, okay? <clears throat> But we have other options, and the reason why I turned this move forward animation into a motion mixer clip is because now we have all the different options that we can do with motion mixer. For example, we can retime this very easily 
by just stretching out the, the timeline, we can, uh, for example, uh, go ahead and choose a different um, uh, post behavior. We can say repeat, which in this case is going to look kind of strange because you'll see what happens when we repeat. He goes back to the start uh, pose or start frame. So in this case, we want something that repeats but keeps adding, you know, it, it repeats from the um, position that we're already at. So let's go and select offset repeat. Oops. Uh, it's not selecting it for some reason. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now when we go through and scrub through, you will see that he just continues walking forward. Okay. So the reason why I did it, you know, using the motion mixer in this case, is that um, <clears throat> you know you um, you have a lot of different options uh, to work with. Okay. So um, those are the different ways that you can move something with motion mixer. You know that's being controlled by motion mixer. You can either manually, you know, parent it to something and animate that object. You can just keep nesting those things. You can you can keep parenting objects to other things and controlling them with motion mixer, and uh, you know that way you can create complex hierarchies of animation and retime them and easily kind of you know shift the animation around. Uh, if, for example, we we see that this is is you know he's he's sliding his feet are sliding or something like that. We can easily kind of retime this to make his walk cycle faster. We'll say okay, well he's his feet are sliding a little bit, so we'll drag this out. Okay, that looks a bit more natural. So you can just keep kind of messing with it, and uh, you just have a lot of options. So uh, I hope this tutorial helped you out.